hey y'all welcome back to my channel for those that don't know me my name is india if you're returning it's nice to meet you today's video was highly requested and i'm basically going to be taking you guys around famu's campus and giving you a detailed tour um so what you just saw was the famu sign and right here is the welcome center if you ever take a tour this is the building that you are going to be in um, and as you continue walking up this street, I'm going to take you guys around the perimeter of the campus and then I'm going to end it off in the middle. Um, so yeah, first things first, I'm going to take you guys to see Village. Um, so right here, this is Pokinghorn Village. It is an upperclassman dorm um, or sophomore, junior, senior dorm. Um, and basically, it's you share common space and then you have your own room. Um, and it's two people per suite. So as you walk through here, this is what they call the breezeway. And so over there is Village East and that's Village West. And then as you go down, um, this is basically just the back of Village, which is where the parking lot is. Um, and then you will see in a minute that the parking lot leads to a nice view of our stadium. Now I'm basically walking out of Village and heading towards the Student Service Center, which you will see in a minute. Um, basically the Student Service Center is where our top cap is and our bottom cap is. Um, so our bottom cap is where we have Tropical Smoothie, Wing Stop, there's a Pizza Stop, and then there's also a Salad Spot in there as well. And then Top Cap is just one of the regular dining halls. Um, which is on the second floor and then also within this building is our bookstore um, our mail one of our mailing centers and then also the place where you get your id okay so as we go down here this is basically our parking garage one thing about fam you we don't never have parking and right there r.i.p to patty foot that's where it was um but i'm gonna take you guys um and just to show gibbs hall um, so this was a co-ed dorm, it was separated by floors and it was traditional as well, um, but it's currently closed. I'm not sure if they're renovating it or what's going to happen, um, but no one currently lives um, in Gibbs Hall. But Gibbs basically faces the back of Samson & Young, which is what you see right there. Um, and again, Gibbs currently is not being used. I'm not sure if they're going to reopen it, but it's still there. And then as we go down here, this is Wanish Way. This is where most everything is um, as far as common attractions outside of the quad for FAMU. Right here um, is a heating plant. I'm not really sure, you know, you know what happens in there, but there's that. And then we are coming up on the CAST building, which is the Center for Access and Student Success. This is the building that everyone is talking about and that everyone wants to take pictures at. It's the building with a snake. Within it is going to be admissions, registrars, financial aid, um, different buildings like that. Everything you need pretty much is in this building. Then as you leave the CAST building, um, right there is one of our ROTC buildings, that's the Army one. Um, and then you'll see later on the other ROTC building, which is the Navy building. Um, then right here is Gaither, which is the old gym, um, but we still use it for like pep rallies and different events and things like that. So we still very much use it. Um, across from Gaither is going to be Al Lawson, which is home of our volleyball and our basketball team. Um, and then also homecoming concert, big events like that will be um, in Al Lawson. Right here is basically like the women's complex. Um, so in a minute, you'll see like the tennis courts and the softball courts and things like that.
all right so here we are getting to the end of Wanish Way if you keep going straight you'll get to the baseball fields and then also campus security um, but I didn't want to go that far but now I am actually turning on Osceola Street which right here you can see our student center so this is gonna be where like our you know gym is um, also there's basketball courts on the first floor or the basement floor bottom floor whatever you want to call it um, that's where the gym is And then there's also a couple of studio rooms in there um, to host different, you know, like a Zumba class or something like that. But that's basically where people go to work out on campus. They are open from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., which honestly really sucks because I'm a 5 a.m. kind of person. But they are only open from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. during the weekdays and they are closed on the weekends. Um, and behind the center, um, the recreation center is going to be a couple of beach courts for beach volleyball and then also some outside basketball courts which you will see right there and then there's a pavilion in the middle um and then right there you see towers getting towers which i will get there you guys will see that in a minute um and right here is actually the new famu marching 100 practice field now as we go up this hill um, we are about to approach FAMU Towers, um, so I'll show you guys a little bit of um, what you see down there with Towers, and then also right in front of Towers is the Hub, which is the new dining hall on campus, um, and then also within the Hub is another mailing center as well. So as you go down this other heel because you know family was the highest of seven um right here are the recreation fields so you see there's a football field and then on the other side of the football field is a soccer field um which is of course right across from towers then this building right here um i don't really show it but the first building for towers is towers north and then the second one is tower south the way you can tell the difference is that you have to go down steps to get to south whereas north is um at a higher elevation now as you leave towers um these are basically different ways for you to get to the middle of campus what you saw before was the first route to get to the middle of campus right here is going to be a second route to get to the middle of campus um which will take you to like the beauty supply store or through the music complex and then as we go down here, um, this is going to be the third way to get to the middle of campus. If you go down this road, it'll take you to the set. Um, it'll also be an easy way for you to get to Lee Hall and things like that. But first, I'm gonna take you guys um, down to Palmetto and Phase just to show you kind of how close um, it is to Towers. It's literally right across from Towers, but it is considered off campus. So right there is Towers. Um, this is Towers North that you see right here and then right across from it is going to be Faze and Palmetto which are the apartments on campus. Now um, going back up this was the first route I showed you guys to get to the middle of campus we're gonna go down here um, so basically if you go this way it'll it's really just a little walking trail um, so a lot of people jog down here or they'll use this to get to the center of campus um, for class. It'll also take you to the track, um, the track and field track or whatever you call it. Um, but yeah, so this is one way to get to the middle of campus. So right here is the track and field, whatever you call it, complex. Um, then now I'm gonna take you guys down the second route. So this right here is the back of the architecture building, which I'll show you guys the front of it um, later on. Then right here is the food and agricultural sciences building. And right here is um, Perry, BL Perry, which there's a, a large collection of different classes that will take place in Perry so it's not you know limited to just science or something like that then here we are coming up upon the music complex 
Um, so there's like three buildings. I think there's fine arts, there's band, and then there's arts. Something like that. I'm not sure, y'all. Um, but this is the music complex building. There's like three buildings kind of connected together. Then as you walk up these steps, it's going to take you to the part of the tour that everybody is looking forward to the most. So right here, you can see the back of Commons and you can see the side of Coleman Library. And once you go up these steps, it is going to take you to the quad, which is the center of campus and the part that everybody loves to look at. So we are coming upon Lee Hall and the Eternal Flame. This is the part of campus that you will likely see the most. It is what FAMU is known for. Um, Lee Hall is a very beautiful building. It is home of, I believe, the president's office. There's also an auditorium in there. Um, I'm not sure what else is in there, but I know it's a whole bunch of um, offices um, related to the president. Now we are going towards Coleman Library, AKA Club Coleman. This is where honestly I spend a lot of time. Um, there's four floors in Coleman and Coleman is also home of our Starbucks. Um, but yeah, so this is our campus library. Then over here you have Commons, which Commons um, is home of our Chick-fil-A our Pavilanos, which is basically just like a Mex Mexican spot. You can get tacos, rice bowls, burritos, that kind of thing. Um, and then there are also classes that are held in commons as well. Um, but as we move over, we are getting towards the set, which is, you know, the infamous set where a lot of things happen, including Set Friday. Um, so right here is, I believe it's Jackson Davis. I think, yes, Jackson Davis. Um, I think most people that I know that have classes in there have their math class, but I think that's also a building where it's not limited to just one subject. Um, then right here is going to be um, the student union complex, um, which is home of our SGA offices. Also the grand ballroom um, is going to be there. And there's a whole bunch of different student, um, like student activity rooms and things that are over here. Right here, you're gonna see Gilmore Lanes, which is the bowling alley on campus, and then also Rattler's Den, which is just a nice hangout spot. And then as you go on, you see the side of the Music Complex building, and then also the Beauty Supply Store on campus was over there as well. Now we are getting back on the set, and we're going towards the new and improved amphitheater that we have on campus. So as everyone saw during homecoming, we unveiled our new, our brand new um, amphitheater, which is the Will Packer Performing Arts Amphitheater. Um, we typically use this during Set Friday. It's new, so we haven't used it for much, but Set Friday, um, different events that we have on campus will be um, held at the amphitheater. Then this right here is Truth Hall. It's not currently being used. I believe it was an old housing complex, but I'm not really sure. Um, so now we are kind of leaving the set um, and this is basically going to take you where that third way to get to the middle of campus was um, back when we were at Towers. This is what you would see if you would go down that road um, and it basically is going to show you the front of the second ROTC building which is the Navy building. Um, and then also in a minute you will see the front of our um, food and agricultural sciences building which is right there and then as we keep going down you will see the front of the architecture building So this here is the front of the architecture building. And again, if you keep walking straight, that's gonna take you back to towers. 
Now we are at the side of Commons, going back to the center of campus. Um, and right here is gonna be the front of the music complex building. I don't know what they call it, um, but that's where, you know, any band or art, that kind of thing. That is the track and then over here is the side of Coleman Library and as we go down you are going to see Sampson and Young which are our brother sister dorms on campus. They are traditional style. Sampson which is what you see first right here is Sampson Hall. This is all boys and again it's traditional and then right here you have Young Hall which is um, an all girl dorm. As you turn here, that is um, the side of Coleman Library again. And then just giving you guys an overview of Samson and Young. They are literally so gorgeous. Um, then as you walk up these steps, again, it's gonna take you to the back um, of Coleman Library, or it's like a side entrance, not really the back. But um, the side of Coleman Library, And then on the other side, you can see the wood theater um, and what's it called? I can't even think of the name, Tucker Hall. Um, but as you walk up here, this basically is gonna take you right back to the quad and right there is the College of Law, um, which there's a lot of history behind that. So you'll learn about that if you ever take an actual tour about what happened to our College of Law. Um, but as you go through here, this is gonna take you right back to the quad. And then as you walk up these steps, this is gonna take you to our Black Archives Museum, which used to be um, Carnegie Library, but it is now a museum. And you can, um, I'm not sure what times it's open, but during the, I know it's open during the week. You can um, go in um, and then just look around and explore what the museum has to offer. Then on this side here, I think it's James Hall, Jones Hall, Jones Hall, <laughs> LOL. Um, so this is one of the science buildings. Um, my camera died, so I had to use my phone. So yeah, that's where you see the difference in quality here. But as you go down Jones Hall, you'll see the side of Lee Hall, which is where the murals for the Divine Nine are. Um, and then um, it'll take, we'll walk down and I'll show you guys what's left of campus. This is the Roney building. I'm not even sure what type of classes happen in that building. Um, so yeah, I can't even tell y'all nothing about that building. Then down here, we are approaching the Research Science Building and the School of Pharmacy building. So here's the research science building. Then right across the street is the pharmacy and pharmace pharmaceutical science building. <laughs> Hill, Lord, y'all know FAMU has a lot of hills, so be ready um, to make that walk. Um, we are approaching, there's a Lucy Moden building right here. I'm not really sure what that's used for now. Um, I don't think it's used currently, um, but we are approaching the old FAMU DRS, which is the Developmental Research School or FAMU High. Um, y'all can see Tallahassee, you know. Not Atlanta, but it's okay. Um, then we are also approaching Gore Complex, but right here is the old family DRS. I don't think it's um, being used for anything right now. And then currently we are approaching the Gore Educational Complex, which is home of all the education majors. And then also a lot of people may have like a math class or English class in Gore as well.
right there, you see SBI, but we're gonna come back to SBI. We save the best for last. And then you see J School right there as well. We'll come back to J School as well. This here is just the side of Gore Complex. It's made up of, I think, three buildings. Um, then here you have the Charles Wood Theater which is attached to Tucker Hall. Tucker Hall is home of all the theater majors. Also, if you have psychology, sociology, um, African-American studies, those are all gonna be in Tucker Hall. So here we are at the front of Tucker Hall. And as you walk up, this again is going to take you to the center of campus or our quad. Now, as you walk down, we are getting to the last two buildings that I'm going to show you guys on campus, and that is J School and the School of Business and Industry. Alright, so J School is the School of Journalism and Graphic Communications. This is going to be home to the journalism majors, um, graphic communication, and also public relations. All of those, that is your home. And then last, but certainly not least, we have the school on campus, the School of Business and Industry. Um, of course, if you um, are not new to my channel, you know I am a business administration major, so this is my home. This is a view from SDI, and I'm gonna actually take you guys, you know, inside of, I don't know what they call it, the courtyard of SBI. I'm gonna show it to you guys in a minute since it's outside. I know y'all saw that cat. I just wanna say there are tons of cats on campus, so don't be surprised when you see them running around. This is the courtyard of SDI. It's made up of the South Wing, North Wing, East Wing, and West Wing. And y'all, that is the end of the campus tour. I hope you guys liked it. Definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my dorm tours. I'm going to show you guys around all of the dormitories on campus. Make sure you check that out. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see y'all in the next one.